Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a 2000 Honda S2000. This is an AP1. And this is very much what I consider to be peak Honda. This car has about 60,000 miles. You can tell it's 2000 because of the plastic in the rear over there. They transition to glass because they tend to fog up, as you can see. But this car is iconic for very good reason. This is a bone stock example. The owner did a, a little air box cutout, and other than that, bone stock. Continental Extreme Contact Tires. Rear suspension, I've noticed, is a little bit tired. But these AP1s, even in stock form, I feel are such, such fun cars to drive. Personally, again, in stock form, I prefer them over the AP2s. A little more razor edge. I like the AP2s made it a little bit more dumbed down, a little bit more American, if you will. And we are keeping the top up for your audio pleasure today. Plus it's kind of chilly out here in Northern California in December. Oh my goodness, the transmission. Honda, I mean, since the very beginning, Honda has had some of the most amazing gearboxes. And this Honda S2000, I think is the best of the business. AP1, so we have a 9,000 RPM red line. And when that Vita kicks in, it really just sings. The car feels a little bit sluggish before you get above around 6,000 RPM. And that's a totally different animal. Woo! AP1s, in my mind, our S2000 is done right because they're a little bit more razor edge. A little bit snappy, no traction control, no stability. Just you and the machine. Great pedal placement for heel toe. Very communicative, and even though this is a first generation EPS, the AP1 steering is superior to the AP2 in my mind, and part of that is the faster steering ratio. That helps you feel like it has more, uh, more communication because it amplifies any feedback. So is that as good as hydraulic steering? Absolutely not. I think the steering is one of the, the major uh, limitations of the S2000, but in the AP1, you don't really notice it as much as you do in the AP2. Ah, uh, yeah, this willingness to rotate on throttle is beautiful! These Continental tires give an adequate amount of grip. Yes! There's a reason these cars are so loved, guys. I mean, the chassis is so communicative. That red line, though. What other four cylinders give you that level of enjoyment? Especially in the rear, not handling this bumpy mines road as well as some other examples that I've driven. Very easy to heel toe. The DNA, the ethos of this car is one of driver enjoyment, driver engagement, purity, naturally aspirated. Incredible transmission, the most mechanical, bolt action rifle, direct positive engagement transmission that you could ask for. Best in the business. And even if, and even if the steering doesn't talk to you that much compared to let's say hydraulic racks or a Lotus, the rest of the car does. sends you so much information through all other inputs.
God, I love the way these things handle. They do exactly what you want. What a good girl. With the faster steering ratio too, you feel like you get a sharper, more immediate turn, which I enjoy. Now again, even with an AP2, you can get that with some suspension changes, with some steering changes. some new brake fluid. It's uh, it's definitely quite dirty when I was looking under the hood and you're not getting as precise brake pedal feel as I have definitely experienced in other S2000s. Like it has a good amount of moisture in it. Oh yeah, that rotation on throttle. I mean, these cars are just so playful, so easy to just dance with. And that's what it's really about. It's dancing with the car being one with the vehicle, and the Honda S2000 is the embodiment of that. There's a reason these cars, I mean, this example, the owner purchased for around $27,000 at 60,000 miles. I think it's a pretty good deal. I was looking for an S2000 myself, and the prices were generally more elevated than that. And the reason these cars hold their value so insanely well are now appreciating, oh, is that this, it's so hard to replicate this driver experience especially in modern day, that rawness, that visceral nature. It's delicious, guys. It is delicious. On the way up, I was having some issues with second gear grinding, but on the way down, giving it the beans a little bit, not so much of an issue. This car will forever have a soft spot in my heart because every time I get behind the wheel of one of these, I tell myself I have to get one. And today is no exception, guys. Honda S2000, AP1 stock. If you have to go stock, I would say AP1 over AP2. If you're going to modify, however, then AP2 over AP1 because of the advantages that that car has. Overall, such a special vehicle. If you ever have the chance to drive one, definitely do. If you have the chance to own one, Definitely do, especially if you fit in it. And that's it, my friends. Thank you all so much for watching. Much love, and I'll see you guys in that next one.